Mark chapter 10, verses 17 through 23, reading from verse 17. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. Does Jesus tell the man not to call him good? No. Instead, he asks why the man called him good. He then goes on to explain how no mortal is good, as good in God's eyes is to be without sin. Jesus then answers his question. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Notice that Jesus does not respond by telling the man that he already has eternal life. This suggests that the man was not yet saved. When Matthew's parallel account is combined, Jesus gives the man seven commandments to obey. Now, here is where a lot of people want to end the story, but it goes on. Teacher, all these I have kept since I was a boy. If this man could have been saved by obeying the seven commandments, then Jesus should have said, okay, and continued on. But instead, this happens. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack. Go sell everything you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come. Follow me. At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. It is interesting to note that by the man selling his belongings to give to the poor, he does not get eternal life, but treasure in heaven. Now, whether or not the rich man took Jesus' instructions, we do not know. But he did walk away that day sad, suggesting that he placed more importance on being rich than on eternal life. Much earlier than this, Jesus said, No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The rich man was trying to serve both God and money, but his faith was in his money. If his faith was in God, he would not have gone away sad. If Jesus answered the man's question by saying only, Obey the commandments, the man would have left deceived that he already had eternal life. If Jesus would have answered by saying, Have faith in God, the man would have left deceived that he already had eternal life. But Jesus, knowing the man's heart, set about to establish faith in him so that he could receive eternal life. Faith is ultimately what God wants, as Jesus taught this time and again. Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Those along the path are the ones who hear. And then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. Yet, you refuse to come to me to have life. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. I told you that you would die in your sins. If you do not believe that I am He, you will indeed die in your sins.